Hey yo, what up guys? Another another what? Another time for a for a scout and whack with uh with cheese. So I'm gonna go over a base here that um you know it's like I uh, a pretty easy base. I mean, uh, not difficult for, for hogs. Um, but there was, um, the, the queen is kind of buried a little bit. Uh, so there were a couple of like small kind of planning things that uh, really made the difference in this being like a complete beat down and it being kind of a close raid. Um, so just kind of looking at this base, uh, this one was on site. And so again, like a little bit of hope, um, I'm waiting for somebody to just have like massive balls and have these like four spots on the outside where giant bombs are. And then the four Tesla spots in the center I'm waiting for one time for somebody to just have these massive balls and put the four Teslas outside and double giant bomb the middle. Cause that would be sweet. Um, I'd get wrecked, but you know, I'd have to give the guy a little bit of props, but you know, it's like also, you know, even if you do that, there's other ways around it, but you would have to recognize it, you know, whenever the test popped up and find a way to get in there. Um, but anyways, so on this base, like I was saying, you got the, uh, you got the four spots for the giant bombs on the outside and you got the queen in the center. Uh, so there aren't any double giant bomb locations on the outside that you really have to break up giant bombs. You can always just place a heal, but there's four of them. Um, and I want a heal spell in the center. Um, and so it's like, you're just going to run out of heal spells. Um, in this case, if you just try and, uh, single heal, on each one of these giant bomb locations. So what I did, um, the ARD, this is kind of a newer, actually it's weird. It has level two bows and like Lego walls, but has a pea shooter level three air defense, stuff like that. But um, the air defense spread on this base was actually um, pretty decent. Uh, and there wasn't a whole lot that I could hold low or that I thought was um, really worth it. But what I did do is so on this bottom side here, I brought three loons, two on the mortar, um, one on the archer tower. And up the top here, I put two on this mortar. Um, a couple of reasons on that mortar is I want to anchor up top there whenever I go in and do the CC kill and get in there to get the queen. Get in there. But, um, but also, um, you can see if you take out those three air defenses, there's no reason for the hogs to path through those giant bomb locations. If you do that, you can single drop a line. You can drop a line of hogs on this wizard tower up here, and you could drop a line of hogs on this archer tower down here. Um, this one on the bottom will funnel to this cannon, to this whiz, and then hop to the center. The one on the top here will go to the whiz, the cannon, the archer tower, the pea shooter, and then to the center. So not tripping any of those giant bomb locations, uh, which is fantastic. You don't need um, to drop any heals there. Just kind of heal them up when they go through the core, then they'll pop out the other side, use your heals uh, on the other two spots. So um, you really only need three heals to do that. But um, so it's like and on the top here uh, with the CC pole, um, which the loons would get. And I also dropped a giant down here because I didn't want the CC coming out too fast and actually wrecking my loons doing the drop over here because that was actually really important. So I dropped a giant to start the pole down south and then I dropped my loons. And up top, dropped a minion on this gold mine to set up my funnel. Um, and then the plan was... Again, I was a little bit worried with the jump spell that I would be able to drop a jump spell um, here like between, like on this cannon, I didn't, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to get my king all the way into the center. Um, I didn't want to be doing the dance with the queen if she's like behind a Lego wall and stuff like that. So what I did is I dropped, is I brought some wall breakers as well. So if I could get through this first, and I wanted to crack this level eight wall here, the one right above the AD fence between the storage and the cannon. And I knew how wall breaker AI is. First, you need to crack um, this compartment here with the whiz tower and the mortar. And then once that's cracked open, then the wall breakers are going to go to this compartment here with the two cannons in it. So I brought four wall breakers uh, to two to break into that one and then two to break into the center one. Didn't go quite as planned because, you know, wall breakers. But uh, but just getting this one opened up here with the whiz and the mortar, I was able to hop my king into the center from there. 
Um, so yeah. And I was also hoping, you know, it's like with the heroes and the kill a squad out here, maybe they'd get through this whiz tower and, uh, archer cannon, uh, archer tower and break up that last, uh, giant bomb spot there as well. So let's run this one through, see how it went. Um, start off with the minion up top and then two loons on the mortar and then a giant. There she goes. And then the three loons. So they're starting the pull. Um, enough time here. Some stuff starts popping out of the of the uh, CC, uh, but still good. Um, I did look at this too. I didn't think that that cannon was going to be able to get my barbarian from there, but it did, and it kind of screwed me up. Um, so uh, I dropped my barb there, and then I kind of realized that that was going to screw up my funnel. So I kind of funneled uh, bad to quite bad on this, um, but it turned out okay anyways. So the golem, um, right down into the core there, get my king down and he starts getting goofy too. Um, he starts getting on the wall, the wall breakers, uh, and then more wall breakers, but you can see that they kind of scattered there. So it didn't do very much good, but got everybody into the center there. Um, and the king kind of took his time going for the queen as well. Uh, but he gets in there, handles the queen, and um, stuff's going quite well over there. So the hogs um, didn't go to the whiz tower. They went to the cannon. But um, they go back, get the cannon, then hop, get the pea shooter. So it all worked out really well as far as avoiding those double do uh, or single giant bomb locations go. So I still have three heal spells at this point. I don't think I've lost any hogs. Um... Do I even drop another one getting through the, the core here? I don't think so. Yeah, I was waiting for them to hop out and then dropped the one right where that other location is. Everything's full health. Um, and at this point, there's no reason for there even to be any more hogs going up and tripping that last bomb location. Um, but the golem is a dumb brick and does it anyways. But still, you know, it's like at this point, um, saved a heal spell. And this just, this base was just... Um, Full on, taking a hog town. Express train, no stops. So, um, so yeah, you know, it's like um, not the hardest base to hog, but there were um, maybe a few things, a few ways to look at the pathing that I thought made that, um, you know, kind of a close-ish raid as far as managing spells to uh, a very easy one. So uh, that's it, guys. Um, we got another war coming up here, but it's not going to be very close. So maybe we'll have some uh, interesting stuff to show you. Maybe we'll get a little bit goofy and creative. So yeah, guys, if you like the um, if you like the kind of breakdowns and scouts like this, uh, let me know. I am getting some new equipment, so hopefully I might be able to do some like drawing and stuff like that. So uh, it'll be a little bit easier to understand my planning. But yeah, let me know. Let me know uh, if you guys liked it. If you think I suck, whatever. Drop a comment. Subscribe, like, please. I'd appreciate it. All right, dudes. Later.